dear finance professionals and students welcome to podcast of fca deepak rao a practicing chartered accountant daily news and updates for 15th october 2024 Noel Tata's appointment as chairman of Tata Trusts is likely to ease tensions with Shapurji Palanji Group. This could allow Shapurji Palanji Group to consider partial monetization of its 18.4% stake in Tata Sons. Improved relations may help reduce Shapurji Palanji's group's debt through asset divestment and other financial strategies benefiting both sides. Tata Group is expanding Air India Express's fleet by transferring all economy planes from Air India and Vistara. This move aims to strengthen its position against market leader Indigo. The fleet expansion will be completed by mid 2025 and includes adding Airbus A320 Neo and Boeing 737 Max aircraft. Seven companies formed from the old Ordnance Factory Board are now profitable three years after corporatization. Previously, they had heavy losses. They now focus on research and development for Indian Armed Forces and export orders. Yantra India Limited and Armoured Vehicles Nigam Limited are among the top performers, posting substantial profits. India and the US are set to sign a rupees 34500 crore deal to acquire 31 MQ9B drones for the Indian Armed Forces. The agreement includes contracts for maintenance and acquisition. General Atomics plans to partner with Bharat Forge for components and establish a global drone maintenance hub in India. Earlier IBBI wired circular dated 28 June 2024 directed the liquidators to file forms relating to the voluntary liquidation and liquidation process latest by 30th September 2024 in this regard representations have been received from the liquidators and insolvency professional agencies for extending the date citing the technicalities in the submission of the forms Now the IBBI has decided to extend the last date of submission of the forms till 30th November 2024. This podcast is sponsored by Sound of CA. We share because we care. Vande Mataram, Jai Hind.